It's 1939. France is on the very brink of a second German invasion, but this time they have a secret weapon. A network of subterranean tunnels weaving over 900 miles, forming an elaborate mega bunker across the entire border between France and Germany. It took 10 years to complete their underground city. 352 casemates and 5,000 blockhouses are spread over the 142 self-contained bunkers. The bombs are dropping and the Germans are advancing. France were prepared and ready, but there was one vital mistake. The line did not block the France-Belgian frontier, a fatal flaw in design, leading to the Germans outflanking the line in 1940. After the war, it became disused and derelict. Today, sections have been transformed into a public museum, but we have travelled to a secret location in a French woodland to descend into darkness. Join us inside the forbidden abandoned zones of the Maginot Line. So welcome back to the Europe road trip. That's what I'm going to call it now, <laughs> just the Europe road trip, because it's got a France, Belgium, Luxembourg road trip. But we have brought you to somewhere special. This is a rare location. I've seen a few people do it, but we're at the Maginot Line right now. This, the history on this place is immense. You'd have heard it in the voiceover, but I'm super excited to get down underground. Me too. See how far we can get and what we can find. This is our entrance point. This is a hire car, ragging it through the woods. This is going to be interesting to see. The deal is here. So basically this was used to defend against Germany. Now it was built after World War One, um, and it was massive. It went all the way from um, Switzerland, all the way from Belgium, all the way across east and it went down all the way down pretty much the Swiss border it goes on for miles and miles 250 miles of tunnels in total but it proved it was pretty much defective and um, because the Germans basically went through the Ardennes forest straight into France so it was, it was just it was basically <laughs> it's a waste of time and money basically yeah, yeah. So they just drove around the edge of it but parts of the tunnels were blown to bits um, with a lot of French people inside obviously soldiers and stuff and um, yeah the Germans basically stormed the tunnels but inside you'll see different pillboxes blast doors train tracks where they used to transport soldiers back and forth and things like that this place just goes on for miles and miles it's absolutely bomb complex stores. bomb stores hospitals um, ca cafeterias uh, sleeping quarters staff quarters uh, gun emplacements we actually last time was there basically it's we a military base I heard that, they had, that it was like boxes as well and they even had like hairdressers and shit down yeah, there they had as well a, literally it was a massive underground city for the underground miles. city pretty much city yeah basically yeah, yeah. it was ab absolutely crazy um, but we went into a certain section, went some stairs trying to get out, and we found ourselves in a pillbox. And there's actually a gunner seat where you can wind it up and, and come up. Who's like, going to go up then? These are like metal domes. Like well, we debated this tunnels. last time, but then when the one we were playing with won't come back down again. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Send Jess up and she goes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we was actually operating the hand crank thing to, to lift up the, the gunner turret. Like, it's like a dome piece that comes up the floor. It comes up like that with, with mortars coming out the floor. Yeah, sick, mate. Well. Yeah, yeah. All sorts of weird, it's crazy it's stuff in here, man. Spot. Oh, here we go, boys. Yeah, here we go. This could Goodbye be, a, this could be oh, it's sloppy already. This could be a journey of a lifetime, you know? Yeah, Carl, do you need to pass your bag through, mate? Pa pass it through, man. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Boo, <laughs> <laughs> We don't need to mark this bit because we know once we get to the top of the stairs, we're all right. You can hear them boys, innit? There are other people Shh. here. Shh. Music. Music. So there are other people did turn up when you came. It's dark. Wow, that is a serious door. It smells like Amsterdam in here, mate. Yeah, it's coming up the lift shaft. Is it? Wow, look at it. It's so old, isn't it? Oh! oh my God. 
That's some scary shit. That is, isn't it? Ladders up as well. Yeah, that's the further up. Yeah, yeah, you can see the thing here where they would have been sending stuff up and using mm -hmm. the weight and It's got like a big door here for something to hatch. It's been bricked off. The ladder's down. Every direction. Ladder there. Ladder's up there. I'm super excited for this. Yeah, me I've too. wanted to do this for a long time. Yeah, me too. So down we go. Oh, look at the big pipes and stuff. Oh my god, <laughs> man. You could get across that though, wouldn't it? If you wanted. Oh, no, nah, mate. It's crispy, that is. It is, isn't it? It's a nice exploring an underground bunker that smells like hashish. <laughs> Pipes are huge, aren't they? Be careful where you're walking, there's yeah, stuff everywhere. Oh, wow. I just want everyone to remember that everything we find in here and everything you see is actually from the war and it's been left all that time. All the old glass for the lights, some old lights and stuff. This is crazy. Just a storeroom left from the war. Look at that, that's a bit scary. Oh shit! Look at that! That is a proper, proper engine. Everything you see is hidden in an engine. That's what's in the top of your engine, your camshaft. Pushing your valves, mixing your air and fuel. This is your injector spitting your fuel in. Also runs off that. That's All timed mind. properly, just off that spinning. Look at the size of them for pistons. Oh my god. Mate, your piston in your car is probably about as wide as that bar that, f that pushes that piston up. That is nuts, you know isn't it? Another engine. Sorry, You're a crazy guy, mate. It is, isn't it? Why is it like this? It's in this three years ago, me and Carl, and it worked like it was brand new, weren't it? Still, now it's moving. Mate, it's moving well for how old it is though, still, isn't it? Yeah, but mate, when we come, it still had clumps of grease on it and that. And honestly, it was like a brand new, weren't it? It's the end of that room we were just in. It's got old workbench. Big cylinders, I don't know what they were used for. There's a piece of something here, I don't know what it is. Maybe we can trans try and translate that. It's like a turkey or something. Look at the size of these. It's insane. I'm lost already, so hopefully these boys know Even where we're going. Even Jess is lost right now. Oh my god, look at that. Here we go, so I think we're making our way into the main strip now. 
You actually see rail trucks on the floor. So they were sending trains through here. Damn. Here we go. 16 miles deep, 12 foot thick concrete walls featuring retractable steel gun batteries, turrets with cannons and periscopes. It was invulnerable to aerial bombings and tank fire, plus surrounded by minefields. The Maginot Line had its own power generator, hot and cold running water, and was stocked with plenty of food and supplies. The air was filtered and even pressurized to protect the soldiers within from gas attacks. It featured underground railways connecting various areas and had state-of-the-art living conditions for the half million who permanently manned the line, supplying eating and recreation areas, separate living quarters and supply storehouses. Already. That's insane. I just can't believe we're underground. <clears throat> underground France right now. Deep underground. So like there's little workshop rooms everywhere, aren't there? Mm -hmm. That old poster on the wall. Oh yeah. Got all these shelving units. Wow, all the way along. It's like, a, it's like a decaying time capsule bunker. Wow. Huge doors. It is a barred door and stuff. Looks burning in here. You see this? It's like the flood myth. Can't kill that. Look at the drainage. There we go. Hold on. Well, we can't all build shit like this now. Yeah, I can't, you can't see the end of the tunnel for that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oi! The moose is loose. <laughs> the moose is loose. It's a mad. Oh, it goes dead deep when it gets down there. This is like one of the first tunnels. Look at that. Oh my god. You can see the end of this one though, which is. It looks like it turns, yeah. yeah it does. Look at that, Sam. That's what you're dealing with. It's nuts. <sighs> Mate, this is not the big the big one yet. Nah, no, no. <laughs> Wait, we need to work out where we've gone, which way we've gone from me. Yeah, as soon as we get to the main one, we're right. Yeah, but we're we gonna be able to remember our way back, yeah. I didn't this mind this one as well. Leaving the main tunnel we've been in. Going down here. Two doors. Yeah, yeah, this is the place that we bought the bolts and that, didn't they? Do not split up, make sure you can always see one of us. You know what I mean? guns and weapons through here. Wow. It's pretty damn so cool. cool. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. There are all the walls and everything. Oh yeah. Wow. Still there. Talk about history. Uh -huh. That is insane. This place is crazy. It's so weird, isn't it? It's like people have drawn over them with pen.
Lady of the Boos. So we're gonna keep making our way down these tunnels now. I'm excited to see what else we can find. This is probably one of the most historic places we've ever been. And definitely the most historic underground we've ever been. It's just too much to explore. It just goes off in every direction. Ugh. I hate these toilets. So we've made it to the next section of the tunnels. And this just goes on and on forever and ever. Maybe we'll never actually get out of here. It's an old fashioned urinal just left behind. Quick wee while you're on route. We've come to a split in the path. Which way do we go? Left? That's right. <laughs> Left or right? The right hand side. See where this leads. We're gonna venture off the main track now and then to see some hidden secrets. It's a big blast door. Yeah, it's crazy. This is one of the smaller blast doors. This is, this is tiny compared to some that you're going to see in here. All I can think about is subterranean creatures right now. Don't say stuff like that. Imagine how lizard people taking down here. Oh, Chop the long tunnel parts out. Otherwise, it's just going to be a video of just long, plain tunnel for hours and hours. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> it's a dancing anomaly in the tunnel. Dancing anomaly. <laughs> Yeah. One, two, three. That was cool. Thunder. So you got to think about how loud that noise was and how loud that echo was. Think how loud it was when they were in here working, trains going. Would have been insane. A bit wider now. A lot wider actually. This is really weird. It just sounds like a train. It's coming down the tracks. You think it's people at the end maybe part, partying. Something like that. You can see the lights ahead, so we're going to see what's going on with these tunnel rats. They're having a party right now. Listen. Yeah, they are. It's a techno party in the Maginot Line right now. In the first building, we took the stairs. So we went down. Yeah, down, straight down to this bit. This place, yeah. 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 So there was the Germans partying. We're gonna keep on rolling. It's the main tunnel that way. But we're gonna take this route off now and see what we can find down here. Really Another blast door. Oh, I know where this goes, bro. Where? This door where you follow it and you go to the top into the, into the corner position. We must have been sent to train down, you know. We're on our way to a gun position now. What does it take you to? That gunner's pint. I'll go up there, innit? Might as well. Thanks. Oh, damn. Maybe it gets scary, you know. Oh, that looks like a bong. <laughs> so we made it to the top. Oh, that was a lot of stairs. Jeez. Look at this door. Oh my god. Do you want to put it on there? Whew. What is that? Into the poop deck. Yeah. It is, that's the sewage in it, yeah. Alright, yeah. here we go. Come on to the sheet. Oh my god, it's got a mouse. Oh! Where? Oh, it's alive. Oh, it looks like a hamster, mate. Oh, that should be rescued, really. Well, they probably live here underground in here, innit? Okay. Oh, yeah. It's Yeah. It's probably warm from down there and that, innit? Oh. That is a baby. Come over with me, mouse. 
It's going to die down there, isn't it? Well, it's fucked up, doesn't it? Yeah, looks fucked up. Only if it's fallen down into it. Clean. You lovely boy. So the mouth has obviously come down. That chain set the whole oh, yeah. gun up platform. I'm sorry. I thought you can see the seat there. Oh yeah. The climb up there, sat on it, and that chain set the whole thing up. I can't remember that windy thing with that. I think it was trying to open the lid or something. Not as good as last time though. Uh, but this does it because of the chain. Yeah. It's solid that. It's mad. Bet you can find one that works though. Oh, oh my god, I must stood on him. Look at him, it's like he's coming to you, bro. Oh, I know, what do I do? Look, he wants to get back up and out, innit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. He's got to go in the cracks. You might have to rescue it, bro. Huh? You might have to take it with us. Yeah, but how? I don't know. You might just freak out in the bag and have a heart attack, innit? He's going to die anyway, don't you? He's got gloves, he's got gloves. Wait, why, why is he coming to you, though? He clearly wants help. Come in! There's no way a mouse would come to you. Guys, this mouse keeps following Sam about. Get your bag open, man. Come on. Can you put him in the bag? I know, because he chewed through. Yeah, what about my wise? Put him in my wise, man. Well, close it over. No, right, kill him, won't it? Yeah. He don't know where it is. Where's it gone? There, it's it's just run underneath your legs, Sam. Just meg you. Where is it? Yeah. Oh, man, some people take your shits in it. We're going to do lots of mouse, man. Sad, isn't it? Yeah, look, so I get away Mate, there's no way that's coming after us because he doesn't want anything other than help. Mate, he, he, he chased us. Have we got something like a box? We've got a lunch box? No. I need to figure this out. Have you got like a box or something, Carl? I've got um, a little socket on it. Not in a box of one. A box of rem pod. Come on, a box of rem pod. Got a hole in it, no. No. You can leave it unzipped though, innit? Could do, yeah. Like a little bit. It might suffocate them, won't it? No, if you leave it, wedge it with like a rock, make a little hole. I think it's hungry. Look, it's trying to chew my feet. You've not got no crisps on them? Yeah, I've got crisps. It's come from the gunner point, hasn't it? Oh, he's having it. Oh, mate, he's having it. He's having the Pringles. Oh, yeah, he's so eating it. Oh no, it makes it even more sadder, doesn't it? We'll have to get him out. Oh. I've got. What's that there? That plastic yeah. box. Oh, yeah. I need to find a way to get him out. Hold this camera, bro. Let me grab this plastic box. Bro. Yeah, I wish I'd have brought that back. He's drinking with me now. Do we talk about Yeah, cheers, dude. Yeah, it's proper scrum. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Mm. Good old guy. Don't worry, we're going to think of a way of getting him out. I don't want to crush him, on it. You won't crush him, mate, because he's got all sorts. So if I don't get them back in, then I'll just hold him down. Yeah, just carry on with us. Deciding to build along only the 280 mile border was the Maginot Line's downfall. The line was supposed to be fully extended further towards the west, barricading Belgium out as well as Germany. But it was finally scaled back in response to demands from Belgium out of fear it would be sacrificed in the event of another German invasion. So, Jess has Stuart, the mouse, right now. I'm gonna let him out when we get out. Hopefully he's all right in there. I think he's okay. Hello. Hello, Hello little one. You want to be on camera? Are you gonna be on YouTube? <laughs> yeah. It'd have been crazy if two trains were coming past each other at the same time. The noise down there would have been absolutely immense. 
So we've come to another split. Look at this. We're gonna take the right track. I think we're just gonna keep right, maybe. Not sure. Where we are right now. Yeah, I wonder where we are. It'd be good if we could have used our Google Maps down yeah, here, but that is it's not gonna happen. Where are we going? Oh, wait a minute. Is this a. Flooded. Oh my god. Oh, I better hope these wellies stand up to the water, man. Sports Direct special. Stinks of blue. You can stalactites in the room. Quite stinking. Wow. Is this like another engine room or something? Yeah, they've had an engine on there and not that big hole on it, but it's mad how they're all in here. How they been moving them around, I've no idea. It's crazy. There's some weight in them, like, you'll never pick that up. This pipe's covered in like, white. I can't tell if it's water or like mold or calcium buildup, but it almost looks UV. That's a mad door. That's cool as hell. Wow. That's mad. Use that through there. I can't believe that still works. Wow, <laughs> that is mad. That just shows how good things were built back in the war. Yeah. yeah. Now, this will be amazing if this works, mate. I was oh, going there. It would work, but I've just not got enough power with one hand. Mental, that, mate. It's just no ventilation, is there? So you'd die from if it was a nuclear strike. Can you believe it works? It's mad. I love that as my front door, mate. Yeah, that'd be crazy, wouldn't it? Oh, what's all this? Wait, have you seen uh, this? Yeah. Look at the old red tracks and look, there's a lever here. Lever here to swap which way they go. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the ammo store. This is how they see it. This is how they move all the ammo around. There's a train station out here as well. Hey, that is mad. It's crazy down there. I think the train station's down there. End of the line. It's a big store room. Very big. What's, what is it, man? We just found something. A winch for the trucks. That's crazy. I think we have to climb down into there. So we're going to make our way back to the main truck now. Let's see what else there is. How's the little mouse doing then, Jess? Good. So sweet. I didn't expect to come down the Maginot line and, and save a mouse. A mouse in a cake box. I was lucky we had that box. It was like it was meant to be. It was. How weird. And it was weird because I was thinking we, if we had one of these and then there was one. Little boy blue. Completely <laughs> flooded. Well, oh my god. What's that? Another blast off. I think it's just more ammo storage. So it's getting smaller again, it's getting tighter and tighter. You can see the boys up ahead, how tight it's actually getting. Oh. 
Beautiful. Dress almost fallen over. The train is going down the tent now. You can't believe it, really. Oh, no, because I don't think people were walking down it. The train came down now, right now. <laughs> what can you see, Jess? Oh, it's a, I thought it was a face. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, oh, yeah, over. So we're almost at the end. And now, this tunnel. Oh my god. Have a big door, glass door. Oh my god, look at this. I know. Another split. This is mass tunnel system, isn't it? Stairs up. Good dead end, so we're going to go back on ourselves now. I just hope we don't get lost in there. I've got a bad feeling that we're going to get lost. Back down the next tunnel. This said tunnel after tunnel. Getting sucked down like a funnel. So guys, we've actually been in here for two hours now. We entered at four. And the time now is ten past six. So it's a lot. There's a lot it's down dark. there to explore. It'll be dark outside. Yeah, it'll be dark outside when we get out, definitely. Back in here at this flooded bit. We're gonna make our way back. Oh crap. To the main track again. <laughs> Stuart, Stuart Little. He's asleep. The bunker oh, mouse. Asleep. Look at this, the old school left. Crazy. That was a crazy old lift. That's it, that's that. Hey, look at that for collecting empty shells so they can reshell them, Carl. That's mad, isn't it? That's mad, isn't it? That's a shell shoot, that 100%. Yeah, it is. Rolls down onto them, rolls down, yeah. yeah. That is cool, wow. That's crazy, isn't it? We're gonna go up and see what we can find at the top of here, the stairs, and this is the, the shell shoot. That'd be a fun slider. Up we go. It's a long way up. Made it to the top. Wow, what the hell is that? Wow. That's crazy, it's so industrial looking in here. Oh damn that that's right into the shell soup shoot. Wow. This is crazy machinery. It is, isn't it? Never seen anything quite like this before. Yeah. of equipment that is, isn't it? It's insane. Oh yeah. It's like spacecraft machinery, man. Man, you're never gonna get that across the line, you know? No, I know. It's madness. Look at those shells rolled as well, bro. Oh, yeah. You just stuck the shells in there to make them. 
I'm not going to make you smart work as well. Oh, yeah. Hikers. Strange, isn't it, what they decided to pick? It's like another gunner thing up there. That's so crazy. Old lockers and stuff. We're going to head back down now anyway, but that is a cool thing to see. One in a lifetime. Come across this massive blast door. Gets pulled across by this wire here. Insane. It's huge. Big blasty boy. There's a big lock. Wow. We've just come in to a loading section. And here's all the old ammo crates here. Crazy. Crazy, I don't know. Imagine if it was still full, it'd be nuts, wouldn't it? Oh my god! Wow. Oh, damn! Now that is cool. That's not something you see every day. That's for the water we've just been to as well, innit? These are all for the water. Wow. It's crazy, isn't it? It's a trick issue. That's insane. But look what we found. We actually found one of the trains, one of the carts. That was my mad. This is an old lift for us, so they would have been bringing the ammo up and down in this. It's complete as well. If we could get that out of there, we could ride back on it. <laughs> That's insane. Main entrance. It's open, mate. Look at all these old carts. That is mad. That is just history. It's sat right there. <laughs> Mechanism, a lift mechanism. But <laughs> there we are. Huh. Oh, look at the walls. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, that's my skin. Is that for life? I'm bitten as well. They're everywhere. It's all my skin, isn't it? Lift. Oh yeah, that's a whole an angle. That used to be an angle, didn't it? Look at that. Oh yeah. It used to be like a release handle. Oh yeah. Got release yeah, that's it, actually. Oh, entrance, this is really weird. We're getting out of it. Yeah. Can you imagine if you can yes, we're in. And then it matches all the entrance. Oh wait, what this is to outside? Yeah, this is it. Sam's on track and check the map to set the bottom of the car. What the hell? So we've made it out a different entrance. Oh, Jesus. Booyah, Maginot Line, part one completed. Take him down a bit, man. Jess, you have to grab my camera, sir. So mm -hmm. Where is it? Oh. Bye, my little friend. <laughs> Bye, little oh, one. Bye, my lover. No. Goodbye, my friend. It's been a real cool companion for this journey. Stuart, you've been the one. Come on, let's walk in here. Stuart's been the one for me. Goodbye, my mouse. Goodbye, my friend. Stuart, you've been the one. You've been the one for Carl. You know what it's just like? It's sad just releasing him to the wild, man. Oh, he jumped. Look. Oh, he jumped oh. down. He jumped. No, Stuart, why did he just jump? Just leave him. It's free. He just, he, looked, he, he just knew we were out, he just jumped out my hand. Look, what's he foraging on? Ah, oh, he's eating, he's starving. 
Oh, he's munching, isn't he? Bye, little friend. Happy as anything now, isn't he? We'll miss you, Stuart. Get him munching. Sad, sorry. He's, sorry. Off. he's Bye, off. Bye, little Bye, Stuart. Stuart. Bye, mate. Bye, Stuart. <laughs> love you, Stuart. <laughs> Give him his buzz. We love you. Splash of water under. It'd be alright, mate. Eating that grass would be getting water all that. Yeah, true. Yeah. Look at him, he's munching, mate. He's starving. He's an easy target out here now, especially now we're shining lights on him. Yeah, come on then, let's leave him. Find our way out through the forest now. It's a cool way to end this. For nine more minutes, I'd have filled a fucking 64 big card. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, this is where we get lost for like three more hours. I can't believe Stuart's gone. There's the entrance. <sighs> so we made it out in one piece. What a cool, cool place. Super historic. That was so cool. But that is part one of Imagine It Lines. If you guys want to see part two, part three, part four, where we explore the rest, drop it down in the comments. Let us know. But thank you all for watching. Well, and we'll catch you next time. Although known as one of the greatest systems of permanent fortification ever built alongside the Great Wall of China, it may also be the last. <laughs>